So the client's going to have to play a huge part in this. So it's not just about the push in that manufacturers can create the data. We, know, we need to know what the questions are. We need clients to take ownership through their information requirements, so through exchange information requirements, and actually identify what, what information do you want? What data do you need to feed into your asset information model uh, so you've got traceability on that asset moving forward? And if we look at the tragedy of Grenfell, um, that could have obviously been avoided if, if uh, an asset information, uh, a machine readable asset information was available and robust. And more importantly, at the start of that renovation of the, uh, of the actual the built asset, that there was um, an onus put on the contractor to ensure that data was pulled from the manufacturing supply chain and that certain uh, materials were identifiable. I think to, to, to avoid that kind of um, catastrophe, it's, it's important to have, um, uh, which I often point out as uh, the BIM gap, the building information gap, you have uh, the suppliers, manufacturers, logistics, wholesaler at one side of the gap, and on the other side you have designers, construction clients, these kind of people. Um, so often you have these kind of fancy, glossy, as designed models with a minor focus on the on the eye in in BIM. Uh, but if we aim to come closer to uh, an as-built model, which is really a representation of of the built environment, then we will have more focus on, on the information and, and get a closer connection between these two groups on both sides of, of the gap so you have uh, real product data inside your model, accurate product data which you can trust on and not just only something as designed which is not the same as the built one. I think the client should be made, opening up that conversation with the manufacturer it's a, a push-pull scenario where if a, a customer, be it the client, wants information, if they open up that dialogue, then it might encourage less proactive manufacturers to, to look at their data offering, look how it's currently structured, and come to some sort of agreement with the, with the customer on ensuring that both needs are met. I think the clients should be supporting collaboration, uh, transparency, and working across supply chain and bringing everyone uh, around one table, not just the construction players, but also the insurers, the bankers, uh, the operators, and look outside of the industry as well. So if you're a client, you've got your own audience for data. You've got the regulator, for example, but of course you've also got consumers. Um, so it's important to work out what information you're going to need in order to provide. Um, and a good example is the BIM for Housing Associations Toolkit, which is a free toolkit you can download. And it's a good example of what, uh, what a client group can do to get ready and proactively work out what attributes they're looking for.